let this be another night to tie around my bed at night. I know I've lost the fight. To erase your face. Hey everyone. I was originally going to have this video be the last one in the calendar series. I always leave my birth month till last, so I can sit back and enjoy it. However, I forgot that my Pathfinder character was a drider, and her Eidolon a spider. I wasn't upset over this, I was really happy that I finally got to draw Rachni and Kevin, like properly. Both these are based, both are based off tarantulas, specifically the Antilles pink toe and the Brazilian jewel. What to what took this part so long and why I'm breaking up the videos is the Brazilian jewels pattern on, the, on their back. It's known as one of the most beautiful tarantulas on earth and I absolutely adore how bright and colourful they are, but I definitely struggled with it, especially since it appears that their legs are translucent. For the record, Kevin is a female spider. Rachni, her summoner, is only mentally 12 years old and, some, and summoned Kevin at an even younger age. I imagine it was difficult for her to identify Kevin's gender, and Kevin just let Rachni name her as she pleased. The other idea, along with the name, aside from me deciding after I named them that they were femme, was their true name is so unpronounceable Rachni can't say it, and Kevin was the closest she got. Especially believable given Kevin is an eldritch monstrosity that is potentially billions of years old, and the true name would probably make your ears bleed. Kevin is pretty much Rachni's other mother seeing as Rachni in the tabletop has a mother that adopted her at a very young age. While Rachni's adoptive mother remains home, taking care of the textile shop, Kevin makes sure Rachni stays out of trouble, often playing the tank and protecting Rachni from most damage. The two speak through telepathy, and while Kevin can speak common, undercommon, goblin, and aklo, eldrick, Kevin has only heard them speak aklo and goblin, two languages she can't speak or understand. Ken prefers not to use common because they're not very chatty and speaking common out loud would encourage others to try and speak with them. They use Eklo and Goblin specifically so they're able to speak without Rachni being aware, warning her friends of Rachni's stupid ideas, namely her obsession and crush on the ruler of the Dusk Realm, Master of Unseen Reflections and Overseer of War and Chaos, Lucius Nor. I'll go into more detail on Rachni in the next video, but for this one I want to focus on Kevin. I worked very hard on their backstory and they very much created themselves throughout the tabletop. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you have something to say or just enjoy the art, leave a comment. And if you want to see more, more art in future animations, please subscribe. If you want to support me more and see future art in advance, please consider becoming a Patreon. And a special shout out to Dean G, Debbie G, Thomas H, and Greg W. Make your day a great one. Bye.